tremendously exciting to be here and to witness all of this, and I hate competitions. Um, I think one of the reasons that I hate them so much is that um, everybody was a winner in terms of the success of their music making and their ability to speak to us. And that's not a platitude, it's a reality. And I, I think it's so important to remember in this context, and I love competitions because they get us together. <laughs> To hear all of this marvelous music making, they generate all of this new material, they inspire these composers to produce for this arena, and, and it's a beautiful thing that we're all able to be here and participate in it. And the criterion for judging in a situation like this is a mystery to those of us who are doing it. And we ask ourselves and argue with ourselves, by what criterion does one measure value? And how do we decide what's better or what's the winner, so-called? Um, and I know that my colleagues uh, wrestle with that as much as I do. And we, we put various criteria before us. And ultimately, uh, all those measures pale next to the intuitive sense that Mr. Gandolfi would call the awake factor. Uh, that somehow the room is enlivened when something in particular is happening and we're more attentive. It captures our attention and inspires us to be attentive to it. And I'm very happy to announce that John Elmquist will be receiving a commission for next season. <laughs> I think that what's been happening and what's being planned with this competition is fantastic. The whole notion of continuing to make it more national, to get more representation, to get more ensembles involved, more composers involved, is, is exactly what should be happening. So I thought about A major and E flat major, uh, the intersection of these two keys and how they might interact and uh, use it in a variety of ways throughout the piece. Uh, an example would be in the first movement is uh, sort of in two layers. And in the background layer, what I've done is to uh, uh, present uh, A major seven chords and E flat major seven chords kind of side by side as does the, the background layer to that movement. And I hope you enjoyed the piece.